Hello everybody and welcome to Frostpunk. We're gonna go through the campaign, see if we can survive here. I did try a couple times. Real talk did not go too well, but we're gonna try it together and see how far we can get. New home, start, let's go. We roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old. Stripped of pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We've lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. We bid farewell to plenty. For those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope that pushed us forward. Slowly, step by step, we knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Little bit of goosebumps there. That was a nice intro. Okay. We have to survive. We fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen, solid, and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world has... The world as we know it has crumbled. We have to survive. So straight away, we're thrust into, into the game here. After that nice cinematic introduction. And uh, we're going to encounter many of the things that we talked about in my Let's Look At video. So feel free to refer to that. There, there will be a link at the end of this video. So we might not go into as much depth as we did uh, in that video for some of the early game stuff, but certainly we're looking to get as far as we can here. So we got our initial stockpiles, we got plenty of people to work with, and straight away we're gonna pause here. By the way, I haven't gotten very far in the game, and uh, I'm not playing very efficiently yet. I don't really know the optimum way to do things. So if you have any tips, feel free to leave those below. But we're gonna jump in, and the first thing we're gonna need, of course, is coal to power our generator. Let's kind of locate a nice stash of coal. I mean, I guess these are kind of a nice distance away, aren't they? Yeah, we're gonna start collecting those. We'll grab some some wood. This one is kind of close by, isn't it? We'll go for that. Still have 20 people left. I think metal is something we don't need as much straight away. So we might hold off on that for now. Instead, we might consider some, some food. Hmm. So, one thing here. Base heating level 1. Okay, well, you know what? We'll place it there. And let the time roll. Okay. 
sadly we cannot zoom in any further. But you, you can already see the poor people struggling there. So I had this idea, right? Um, and I, I thought we would do like an evil lord ruler run. Would see how how bad we can be <laughs> if we can get away with being just a terrible a terrible uh, leader <laughs> and see how it goes because some of the policies in here are pretty controversial to say the least and I'm not gonna spoil them straight away but we'll we'll kind of encounter them as we go we still have 20 people unemployed so let's go ahead and pick up some more wood because that's always gonna be useful and then we can set up set up like another five people to pick up coal here. I don't think we need metal again straight away so we'll leave it as it is for now. So the cookhouse uh, we can employ like maybe two engineers in there should be fine and then aside from that we should probably build some houses but before we even do that I think what I'd like to try is building an early hunter's hut. Base heating level 2. I think what this means, and correct me if I'm wrong if you know, I think what this means is that we can build it in the second tier radius. So instead of building it here, I believe we can now build it here. Is that correct? Let's try it and see how it works. We probably need to build like a street to connect it. Like so. And uh, I think it might be worth setting up some streets for, for these poor folk as well. And uh, I actually I should adopt my evil lord ruler uh, disposition here. So there will be no mercy. Yeah, I think we're gonna create a street here, just to, to make it more efficient for these guys to cross. And I'm happy to build, like, another street over here. Like that, okay. Right, so the idea here is that we need coal to power the generator for heat. There are other buildings we can build for heat as well. We need to build um, a hunter's... Uh, I just said the name before. was a hunter's hut. This will allow people to go out and hunt for food. This is critical because right now our food is just a limited stock that we have and we're not getting any new food. The other thing is wood. We're going to need to build stuff as well as metal. And then the other resource we have is steam cores, or our steam cores. And uh, those are used for automation, so anytime you build maybe like a factory, that kind, that type of uh, thing, you're gonna require one of those, and I think the only way to get them is going out on excursions. We'll see what that is about when it comes to it. I know what you're thinking, why are you not building houses? First, because I'm the evil lord ruler who doesn't give a shit, and second, I think the way it works is that when people demand housing, then if you if you then give housing, the hope rises and it's overall better than building the houses a priori before that demand comes into play. I could be wrong, but I think that's how it works. And we're gonna switch on the generator here. And it's just lovely to see that snow melt. Ever so slowly, yeah. Awesome. So, this is actually fine because it has base 2, okay, so it's actually comfortable even though it's a little bit distant from, from the generator. What is this? I'll provide some shelter. So, we need to provide shelter for 40 people, that means 4 tents. We're gonna build those straight away. We have the wood anyways, so, oops, excuse me, sir, people, tents, uh, one, two, three, four, let's go, so that's gonna fulfill that promise, people are gonna be happy with us, 
Uh, thank you. No problem. So that should have raised our hope, I think. And uh, so the next thing we'll do is send out some people for, for food. We can only send uh, workers, so we can't send engineers for that. Take a look here. We got two wood uh, deposits being exploited. I think what we'll do is send the 10 people that we have left and that will hopefully meet our demand for food. Okay, so we still have 13 engineers who are idle right now. We'll start grabbing some some steel wreckage and we'll leave like three idle engineers to help with the builds and I think that's gonna be fine let's go hope rises okay also let's take a look at the policies here we'll, we'll start thinking about what we want to do um child labor is perhaps one of the the best kind of earlier things we should do just because right now we have an idle workforce of kids, which, you know, they could be making themselves useful, right? So, child labor, safe jobs. We could allow them to work in safe jobs, which I think is positive. And I think we'll do, actually. Yeah. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. So, the hope falls down a little bit. But it's not too bad. Kids should be learning, not working. Well, guess what? The situation is not ideal, my dude, okay? We have to make it work. I wonder if... Um, I'm kind of considering doing like a, a radial... Uh, street over here to connect these things. It would be kind of cool to have like a secondary... Radius. That we, we kind of create some... We create some industry in the in that radius. So the other thing is that people go ill. And I've paused the game here because I want to build a medical center. Medical post. I'm gonna need more wood for that, so. Just go uh, fast forward in nighttime because nothing happens in nighttime. At least we're doing well in terms of food. And then the other thing is you can look at your economy here and we can see. Uh, our consumption is well under our coal gain, so we're looking fine there. We're gonna fast forward until we have enough wood. Hopefully will happen sometime soon. We have 15 people gathering wood here, so... Could be okay. All right, here we go. We're gonna build a medical post because the the thing with with that is if you treat people before they become gravely sick, then it's all fine, right? But if somebody becomes gravely sick, they uh they no longer are part of the workforce, I think. And this is base heating level one, so we do need to build it here, and we'll do so. I kind of like this speed, even though I, I loved like the, the animations in the slow, normal game speed. The builds are way too slow. Okay. Time will tell if we're doing things correctly or not. But for now, I think we're okay. So once this gets built, the next thing I want to do is actually have a workshop. With basic resources secured for now, we can try to rescue the people we left behind. Build a beacon. Okay. So that's what, what will allow us to go out on excursions. And we'll do that pretty soon, I think. So here, uh... Okay. What I'm thinking is... We have engineers over here. We're, we're gonna 
unassign those engineers. We're gonna go max engineers in here. Treat people as fast as we can. Uh, we can introduce a new law as well, so that's gonna be positive. And the other thing is, I want a workshop. And this can be level 2. So, like this. Should be fine. Alright, so let's pass a law. We already have... Oh, what what is child labor? We need all available hands to work if we're, we're to survive. We'll allow children to be employed wherever they can help, no matter the risk. Um, I don't... I think this is too soon for this. Instead, I kind of like the idea of... Soup. What is this? <laughs> we can add sawdust to meals to make them more filling, although not exactly tasty or healthy. Hope will fall slightly, discontent will rise slightly. Well... I mean... <laughs> it's kind of a dick move, but I kind of love it. And it fits well with the evil Lord Ruler build that we're doing. Or run, I suppose. It's the best way to describe it. So that law is now instated. People are, <laughs> as expected, not very content with that. Let's go to our cookhouse. We're doing sawdust meals. Producing lots of food. And what we'll do here is actually use the kids. It's already free time, so... Time off. This is still getting built though, so that's fine. Okay. So what is the next thing we want to build here? Huh. So the, the gathering post. People working here. Uh, gather resources from nearby. Okay, so this is kind of tempting. It's kind of tempting. If we place one of them, like, here, we could make it way more efficient for people to traverse. So I'm thinking, like, making a street like this, perhaps? Where it connects over there. Like this? Do you, do you think this would be a cool idea? Like this, and then connect it like that. And the idea here is that uh, since we have the connection, we can probably place a gathering post. Near oh, it has its radius, so it won't cover both. I see. Well, I think there's value in um, in covering these two deposits. Although that doesn't appear to be possible, annoyingly enough. Okay, well, we can always build streets this way. Like so, perhaps. Gathering post. Um, yeah, I think, um, I think this is fine. It doesn't look very, very good. I think it's actually fine. So we'll do this, we'll speed up time. We're actually served in terms of food. I think we're fine. <laughs> Still have 10 unemployed engineers. And the medical post requires engineers, that's interesting. Okay. Well, oh, we actually have a workshop, so we're gonna assign maximum engineers. We're gonna select a research. Now, I think steam hubs are great, so th they will allow us to have like an AOE heating heating solution. Like, we can probably add one here, if necessary.
inoperative. Oh, interesting. You assign people to the post, not to the coal mine, is that correct? I'm trying to understand. I'm a little confused. So, you would assign... ...the people to here, is that correct? So you're gathering coal... Right. I think we can actually do this. Oh, what's going on? To rebuild the world. She, she said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city, blah blah blah. Okay, whatever. Um, a child injured at work. Child got distracted at work and has been injured. The accident has not uh, was not serious and happened entirely due to the child uh, carelessness. <laughs> Give this kid a day off. Scold this kid for being careless. That's how we roll. Book of Laws. What do we have? Huh, maybe a fighting arena? Evening bouts will reduce discontent. I think that's 10 out of 10. A way to reduce discontent, especially since we're gonna be a douchebag. Generally, I think that's gonna be positive. So very little wood here. I don't think it's worth setting up a... a gathering, whatever it's called, right? But over here seems like a pretty pretty propitious location for one. So I think we'll do that. We can... Thinking what the best angle for it would be. I think this is fine, actually. You can follow up like this. And then you go... Gathering post. Like so? Oh, sadly cannot cover that other deposit. But this should be okay. We have 25 people available, actually. So I, th I think we need some more food from there. And we'll also build the fighting arena because we, we promised we would. What do we need for that? We need more wood. Oh, okay. We do have steam hubs now as well. The coal seems to be stable. Let's take a look. Yeah, so we probably actually maybe don't need as many people over here. And instead we'll try to, to have our people go there. For now, we're gathering from here. We'll gather from here as well. I think overall things are going okay. Oh, need a new research. What are here? So, allows us to use heaters to heat workplaces during working hours. Each heater raises a workplace's temperature by one. Okay, I can see the I can see the value. Although, faster gathering is pretty positive. I think we'll go faster gathering first. Cool. Speed things up a little bit. So, interestingly enough, people aren't complaining about being homeless yet. Even though it's day three of them sleeping essentially on the ground. Okay. So, oh, we don't have any available workers. That's because we assigned a whole bunch of people over here. I think what we'll do, because we're almost done collecting there, we'll prioritize using this. And we'll do that. Oh, this is fine. It's. I'm a little confused because this gathering post has a maximum of 10 workers, while this one has 
Oh, it's also 10. I selected the wrong thing. That's my bad. Okay. Here we go. We're going to be gathering wood, I suppose. Can you select one of the two or is it just you're you're grabbing both? <laughs> A little confused, but I think it will be okay. It does look like you collect at a higher rate when using the gathering posts. And also I think just because it's closer it will be faster. Okay, we'll provide some shelter. So we need to build two tents. It should be okay. We can actually do it, so it's fine. And we're out of wood. We do have some people available, so why not send them there? And we'll send some couple engineers here to, to pick up some metal for us. I think we're doing alright. We actually have decent amounts of food. We're doing, of course, sawdust meals. And uh, we can't produce because we don't have raw food, which is to be expected. Okay, we're, we're gonna speed up until it's morning time. Shelter promise fulfilled, hope rises. Very good. Oh, we forgot to... Did we forget to build the fighting arena? Ah, did we forget? I think we did forget. <laughs> okay, well... We still have two days to build that, so we're gonna be fine, actually. Oh! A mother has refused to let her daughter go to work, afraid she'll get injured. We could look the other way this time, but others might see- EXCUSE ME! You haven't even provided a reason? You want me to give her a day off? No. Get back to work. Lazy fucks. Alright, keep speeding up here for me. Can you believe the insolence of the mother? Discontent is actually under control here, which I'm happy for. Oh, temperatures are going down. All right, so here's where we need we need some we need some stuff. <laughs> We're gonna need some stuff. Um, basically, working in the in these conditions are gonna cause people to get sick at a very accelerated rate. So, because we do have steam hubs, we'll try to build those, and what we'll do is boost our steel collection. In fact, we, we are actually uh, collecting steel from here as well. So hopefully we'll, we'll pretty soon have that. We're gonna have, yeah, we're gonna have enough to do, like, one steam hub over here. Which I think is gonna be very positive. And, of course, we would like to have another one over here for these poor folks. If we can. Okay, so... Still have this big deposit for coal. It's not too bad. Frozen trees. I mean, these guys are gonna be in a little bit of a pickle. Presumably. Working in the snow like this, I don't think they're gonna be happy at all. At least I'm gonna give them like a, a street over here. Should make it a little bit easier. And similarly, I think I'm um, giving you guys a street here will facilitate things too. 
Alright guys, so I think this is a good place to leave our first episode. Take a break here. And we'll continue on the next one. Hey, let me know down below if you have any thoughts. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode. I hope you did, certainly. And uh, perhaps consider checking out some of my other Let's Plays or music videos that I do every day. And as always, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.